think our objectives here, and we'd love to hear from the group, we're here as a resource. There's curriculum that needs to be contemplated and, and, and lesson plans and, and kind of approaches to how to incorporate it. We don't expect that every teacher is going to end up using Sphero, but I think we're, we're wrapping our heads around how we can, in our school, provide every student an opportunity to use Sphero sometime. We have this concept of programming needs to be treated just as another language. I speak French, English, and I know how to program. And I think people are afraid, they think of programming as math or sciences, and really all it is is just applied logic. So programming is much more accessible than people realize. We're trying to get kids interested in robotics and in programming and in basically exploring technology and sort of the future, hoping to provide them skills along the way that will translate into directly beneficial things for their future. We've been looking at the way we can use peer-supported active learning within the classroom. And we're also very interested about the relationship kids have with technology and how we can foster that. So we decided that we were going to donate the hardware, but more importantly, we wanted to be engaged with the teachers and the, and the leadership of the schools to develop the curriculum. There's a large conversation about how can Spark become this education tool, and how do we explain this to children? How do we get them excited about this, and what is it that they do with it that makes them excited that we can then support, and they can kind of lead us in doing that next step of development and education. Right now I think it's just getting down to an understanding, the connection with the lessons. I mean Gerald's here from a point of view of looking at from our, our numeracy going forward. Steven's here from an IT point of view looking at that piece around the IT connection. And then all the teachers that are here working with it in their classroom are looking at kind of globally. Um, how can they introduce it? What are the challenge activities? What, are, what else can they connect it to within the school? We had 16 teachers and school board members here. So today was a great opportunity to kind of get everyone together, huddle up and, and start talking about what's working, what's not working, and understanding how the actual app is being integrated into their teaching styles, as well as how the kids are reacting to using the app. What we set out to do is really uh, learn you know, we're already learning an immense amount, but really we can't imagine that we know how technology is going to be used by all those types of people. The class, the, an entire school district of teachers, and over 1,500 kids. So for us to learn uh, and observe and uh, hopefully introduce the gift of technology, the gift of programming, that's what I think we can do that will create value.